uh, from Mrs. Brown's Boys. What is it about you? I saw you two, and it's like because anyone who watches Mrs. Brown's Boys will know there's an element of chaos <laughs> yes, around yes. that all the time. Yes. It always feels like something is on or off. There's you never know what's going to happen. Is it really like? Oh, that? you yeah. never know what's going to come up. It's part of the joy of the program. Well, it's part of the joy of. What, I think it's. I think it's why we do it for the chaos, because it, 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 I have to tell you, it's the most fun job I've ever had. So, for anyone who hasn't seen it. There might be someone out there. There might be somebody <laughs> out there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tell them what it is, what the programme's about, and why you think it's just so popular, because it's, it's part becoming a popular I think, part I of I think TV's what the programme is about is why it's so popular. I think it's a, because it's about a dysfunctional family. And we all think that our own family is the only family that's bonkers. And we all think, well, I thank God nobody else has a brother like him, or nobody else has a sister like her. But actually, we're all quite, quite the same. So it's that kind of dysfunctional family led by a woman who thinks that they're all still five years of age. Right. She doesn't treat them any other than their, their children. And yet, at the same time, you kind of know, you know, if, if, if one of the kids were to murder somebody, she would be absolutely disappointed, but, but would help them bury the body. <laughs> yeah. So, you, you were just saying, you've been together quite a long time, right? Yeah, yes, over yes. 20 years. 24 years. So, can you remember a time before Mrs Brown existed? And can you remember the time when you first saw Brendan as Mrs Brown? <laughs> yes, well, the first time I saw Brendan as Mrs. Brown was actually the first night we did it live on stage because we didn't have time to do a full dress rehearsal. So the very first time I actually saw him as Mrs. Brown was when he rounded the top of the stairs and it was like, OK, let's go on. So it was a bit of a shock. <laughs> Had you seen him dressed up as a woman before? Never, Naga. Oh. Well, that was a, that's a very dangerous question, Naga. That is a very well, dangerous question. Well, you know, question. as I asked it, I kind of wish I was <laughs> it, does get, it does get confusing at home, you know, with, you know, who's your mummy, who's your mummy? <laughs> but it is, it is, uh, it's a, it, listen, it's a marriage made in heaven. We get to work together. Uh, and we get to live together. Well, you say that's a marriage made in heaven. Some people wouldn't like all of that time together. Yeah, well, if you're going to tour the likes of Australia or New Zealand and you're going to be away from home for 12 weeks, it makes it a lot easier when you're together. Yeah. And, and we get to bring all the kids and the grandkids with us as well, so... Because of all the family you're in the show. And, Brendan, where, where did the idea come to kind of... Uh, demystify some of the idea of the kind of sitcom thing where you we, it's almost like you draw the audience into a bit of the the fun you're having behind mm. the scenes where did that all come about um, it's because what well, it's what we used to do be, in the Mrs. live show yeah Mrs Brown was a, a live show a theatre show long before it, it became a TV show I think we were on we were on our fourth live show our fourth version of the live show before we got anywhere near TV and I remember at the time um, Stephen McCrum there was two things I remember really well Stephen McCrum said to me when we were he was our producer from BBC, and he said, um, I said, look, I said, just let the cameras run. If, if somebody makes a mistake, you know, we, we'll go, we'll go with it. the lines, all that kind of yeah, thing, yeah. just little bits. And, and he said, well, Leave Brendan, I, I suggest the, the, the sitcom format was invented for a reason. And I said, I know, yeah, but let's break it. You know, let's, let's, let's smash it up a bit. That was the first thing. The second was an executive, I can't remember his name, thank God, <laughs> uh, from BBC, when he was reading the script, he said, I see, who's Bob? He seems to be in it quite a lot, and he doesn't seem to have any lines. He's going through the script. I said, Bob, I said, show me. And he said, just here. And it was a bit of business, B.O.B. -B for a bit of business. And he said, what is that? I said, it's a bit of business. And what will that be? I said, well, uh, you know, if the doorbell rings and Mrs. Brown's in the kitchen, between the time she goes from the kitchen to the door, there'll be a bit of business. And he said, all right, what will that be? I said, I don't know. He <laughs> said, well, when, when will we know? I said, when the doorbell rings. <laughs> So they, they went with it. They just said. Is that your personality anyway? And, and perhaps you're in a better place to tell me <laughs> this, Jenny. A bit, of, you know, to just not be prescriptive, to not have rules. Is yeah, that. It's it? a bit unpredictable. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And that's what it brings it into the live show. And, and we never know when we go out there. You always have to be on your toes because you never know what's going to be thrown Do you know at what? You. There was just. I, the cameras wouldn't have got this. The most <laughs> lovely thing you just did. Jenny was talking, and you just just stroked the back of her hair oh, as you were. I bet you didn't even know. It's twenty four years. Look well, like after twenty four years, she knows that's the sign. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Any other signs we need to look out for? Right now? What else do we need to look out for? She's doing one right now. Okay. What's that? Squeezing my legs. She's nervous. Oh. Excuse me, Nick. Oh. Do you get nervous coming in? Uh, do you yeah. know, just on the thought you were saying, as we well know on this programme, people do love it when things go wrong. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. that's the nature of what we do, of course, live. But we all love but... looking at bloopers from any programme. We love to see when things go wrong. So why no. would you take out the funniest part of it? Yeah, something? that was the kind of the argument I made. You know, when, when Stephen McCombs said, let's, you know, 
let's not do it. I said, well, look, I said, there's a reason why people watch it. It'll be all right in the night and, and stuff like that. I said, let's just leave it in. And I think the very first one I did was, because I was quite surprised, uh, was the opening scene of the very first pilot, uh, when, we do, when we were doing the pilot, and Mrs. Brown had an argument with Maria, uh, with, with, with Dermot, and as, as he's leaving, he went, Mum, what did you do that for? And she said, and as he left, Agnes went, I'm your mother. And the audience all went, oh. And I, I went, it's a man in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> because I go, you can't do that to a man in a dress. And that was where it started, and then anything can go wrong. Do mm. people expect you both to be funny all the time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. well, yes, but uh, at the same time, I expect myself to be funny. The, I have a, the problem I have, and one of the things that Jenny probably hates about me is that I don't take anything serious. Honestly, I don't, no. I don't take anything serious. Um, I, have, I have fun no matter where I go, and, uh, you know, when people say to me, you know, how are you doing? I say, I'm doing great. If I was any better, I'd be embarrassed. I meet a lot of com we meet a lot of comedians. We're very lucky, but I know they're all depressed. <laughs> yeah, I know. We met. Yeah. Well, depressed maybe goes goes a bit far, but they're, but they're very all... morose. It's the tears of a clown yeah, no, thing, which no. is maybe a bit of a cliche, but there is something in there. Isn't well, there? I think sometimes they have pretend to be like that because that makes them one of the greats. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, really? Do you know what I mean? Like, like a, having a backstory. Yeah, you I know. I really. Calling, I remember calling somebody in the BBC about another comedian who who, who was a friend of mine. And they said, you know. He's a bit down, and he said, well, they all are. <laughs> and I said, and he said, I said, really? He said, oh, yes, we're just waiting for you to go down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, oh, sorry, you'll have to wait. Uh, do you get people saying, I know someone exactly like Mrs. Brown? Do yeah. you get that much? Yeah. In, the love, most, yeah. in the most surprising places. Go on. Mrs. Brown. Yes, there's a couple of people who... I, who are I, you allowed to name them, or will they no longer be friends? Well, no, I'm not allowed to name them, but my, my son's mother-in-law, uh, Greta, who in Northern Ireland, <laughs> she's, definitely, she's definitely one of them, because she has her own... You're getting your son into trouble! <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm not getting her into trouble. Uh, <laughs> she has her own sayings. So, she, she ha you know the fly swat? It, we all call that a fly swat. She calls it a flapper. She's from Northern Ireland, from Donegal. She calls it a flapper. And she would say things to me like... I had to get a scrub out this morning and try and get the flies out of my flapper. <laughs> <laughs> and you just don't know what to say. I just go, OK, OK. And Jenny's mum as well is, is, is a, great, uh, a great font of... Uh, he loves to do that on stage. He loves to drop in something that my own mother would say oh, when I'm really? not expecting it because he knows that makes and me And you go. just, the two of you yeah, will know yeah, that. Yeah, and, yeah. She says something like, uh, you know, Mammy, look, uh, just try and keep... And I, I'd say, I just want everybody to get on. <laughs> and that's Jenny's mum down to a T. That's everyone's mum. Yeah. What would you like for Christmas, Mum? I just, I just want, want everybody to get on <laughs> for Christmas. She's got to get what it. a nice sentiment that is, anyway. <laughs> Lovely to see you both here. It's great oh, and the body here. language thing is fascinating. I've been watching it. that very closely. It. Well, it's been, it's been, we're, we, listen, we're very, very lucky. We've had a great tour of, of the UK this year. We finished in Sheffield, to, uh, we opened in Sheffield tonight for the last part of the tour, but it's been extended a year, and we go to places that we've never been before, like Blackpool and Hull. We've never done the show there. Bournemouth. You know, Bournemouth, uh, Edinburgh. Back to Edinburgh. Back to Edinburgh. Has anyone ever come to the show dressed up? Yeah, um, in, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, dressed as as Mrs. Yes. Brown. Yeah, really? yeah, you get a few weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> well, you call them, maybe they're just fans. They no, no, they're weird. They're weird. <laughs> <laughs> they have to get a train and a bus. You know, we get a couple of people coming back, coming to the backstage door with flowers. We've had for a couple Mrs. of very elderly Brown. gentlemen yeah. coming with flowers. Oh, gentlemen for Mrs. Brown. Yeah, yeah. they want to take her out for so dinner. So our instructions to security are just to say, which well, she doesn't uh, stay after the show. But thank you very much. I'll pass them on. We never say to them. Listen, it's a man in a dress. No, don't. No, no, no. no. Well, but maybe they like that. <laughs> yeah, like that. Lovely, you today. have that kind yeah. of thing. I noticed that about you. You have those weird thoughts. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely seeing you here this morning. Great to be you here. Thank too, you. guys. Thank you uh, very you much. You heard about the tour, Mrs. Brown Boys. Christmas special is going to be on BBC One on Christmas Day at 10.30 in the evening.